How'd I end up here? Welcome to my reboot office. <laughs> Hi. You will be tasked to reboot old designs and shows as you see fit. <laughs> oh, that sounds sweet. There is but one catch. I, an executive, will dictate that what I want. You have to abide by it or else. Or else what? I, I don't know. I never thought that far ahead after I zapped you here. <laughs> Could have called. I don't mind coming over. But the gas prices. Oh, yeah, yeah. The gas prices. You're kind of thoughtful. I'll get to it. All right, let's see what it says on the paper here. Redesign My Little Pony. Now, they didn't say Gen 4, but uh, there's a little asterisk there saying it better be about Gen 4, but also bring in the old elements of the older generations, i.e. think of the toys that we should be selling and make sure that it kind of reminisces of the old toys as well. Mm, okay. Which means we have to draw from not only Gen 4, but all the way up to Gen 1s and in between there. So let's see what we can come up with and look at the toys for inspiration along with Gen 4. Maybe we could do a mix. Probably. Okay, first let's just start off with what I'm starting off with. Uh, Rainbow Dash, not a big fan, of course. And so what I'm going to do here is pull a lot of colors from the first design or third gen. Because I like how they put in uh, pink in there, like a little magenta, as opposed to like just being all straight up rainbowy. And I added a, a like a darker kind of color to kind of mute out the uh, high saturation of like the blue and the rainbow. And uh, a, a little bit more yellow. She's more of a, um, what is it? What, what uh, a hot color hair color compared to like her cool body color, if that makes sense color wise. So that's what I went with. Um, and the theming wise that I wanted to co cohesive the Safai, the, the whole uh, main six is that I wanted the hooves to be like, uh, have like a little characteristic. I also wanted it to be like a little, um, like, uh, what do you call it? A accessories? I was thinking of the dolls. So, or the horse dolls. What, what would you call that? A doll horse? A horse doll? I don't know. So, uh, she, I gave her a little pom-pom, kind of like a scrunchie. Um, so I thought that'd be cute. So it looks like a cloud. <laughs> so when I'm drawing Applejack here, that's when I kind of hit my stride of like, okay, I get a hang of swing of how I'm drawing these horses now. Um, because I have no idea how to draw horses. I mean, you could probably tell, you know, you've been known, but uh, I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. I kind of had more of a personality in mind for uh, drawing. Because, uh, like, I, I draw from personalities to, to get to know the character a lot more. And uh, I've seen everybody draw Applejack with, like, oh, big, strong, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I wanted to do the opposite. I wanted her to be a little, little tiny horse. Little tiny, tiny, tiny horse. But I want her to be, like, super powerful. I like that just the position. So um, all the power to come from the legs. But they look scrawny. And people will be like, whoa, how you doing that? Horse magic, I guess. I don't know. She ate a lot of apples. She doesn't get to see the doctor. If you know what I mean. She's she powerful by apples. I don't, I don't know. Um, I also liked what they did with the hair in, I think, the series in the first g1 uh they gave her kind of like a short kind of like hairstyle mane or whatever and i thought that was so cute i kept the blue bow because it contrasts with everything else around her being orange and yellowy and red so i thought that'd be kind of like a pop of color and uh that's her as a character not a big fan of rarity i get her i love her we love a big strong a uh, lovely uh, boss woman horse thing, but not a big fan of her color scheme wise or whatever. I get it though, but uh, so I drew a lot more inspiration from G1, the sparkler pony, because there's a lot more green and I like that little light teal and I loved her hair. Um, so I basically, she's she's more purpley and greeny and I love that combination. Um, the kitty mark's still the same. I made sure to have like the pops of blue and there was a lot of stuff missing from her and I was just thinking about it and I was like, oh, white. White is a color still, we can do that. And it just, it goes so well, bleh, it goes so well with her. I, I love her. So uh, personality wise, I was going for, it's a rarity to see her outside her house cause she's too busy inside working on her business and her everything and so we take the main six to get her out of the house and and go out there and explore and get new experiences and learn and grow and blah, blah, blah. yeah so that's her um but she's she's not 
as confident. I mean, she's confident enough to be like, oh yeah, I know what that is, and then totally fail at whatever that is, um, because she spends all time inside. She doesn't know, um, but she she likes to think she knows, so it's like, oh, she's gonna grow a lot in the series or something like that, so uh, I thought it'd be like that, but she's nice, kind-hearted, and, uh, you know, she's not afraid to take L's, and I feel like a lot of more characters need to do that. Oh, and the heart on the butt is like an homage to like the G3 uh, rarity. So I thought that was funny. Ha ha he he. So with Twilight, I've had a little bit of problems. I was like, what am I going to do for the hair? I do like the hair being like straight, but like kind of like messy straight. And I like what they did with like the horse tail in Gen 1 or 2 or whatever. It, it, it's swirly. It's like it gets a little curl. So I like having that as a little thing, like an homage at the end of her like horse tail or whatever. I thought that was cute. Um, I also... I mean, the color scheme was great. There's nothing wrong with it. So, um, however, I did want to put a pop of color in there. And I thought, what better way to have that pop of color than to have it in the, uh, you know, the blue uh, from, uh, the, you know, the Gen 3. <laughs> and there was a little bit in Gen 4. So, and there was blue on the, the, ho the horse bow. So, um, yeah, I think it was well. And I also had this thing of, like, what if the horses had earrings so that would falls into uh the accessory category so i also wanted to make twilight an extrovert as opposed to an introvert uh because i think that would be a lot more funner in the story and uh have a lot more story uh to to go about because having magic go crazy and stuff over somebody being crazy too it'd be kind of fun and uh yeah, I, I had to re-record, so I had something better planned, uh, talking-wise, and it, it, it didn't go through, so thanks, Audacity, I love you, I hate you, actually, okay, bye, uh, wait, next character. <laughs> Okay, I thought I was going to love to draw Fluttershy. I was horribly wrong and mistaken. Um, I wanted her to be an ecluse in the forest, and nobody talked to her. She's so mythical, and also, she she doesn't like ho other horses' contact. She doesn't like people. Stay away from her. Er. So, um, but, like, it takes the other main six to bring her out and be like, okay, I guess I'm here. Um, so that was my main mi mindset of coming into uh, drawing her. But it turns out she's just, like, so grumpy. I don't know why I drew her so grumpy. I try to change her smile and be like, yeah, maybe she's grumpy smile or whatever. But at the end of, like, inking her, I was like, I have to do this again at some other point. So I did that. This should be it. And um, I figured out that she's a she's a sad girl she's a sad sad girl she's she should be crying i'm crying so um i drew her crying like she looks like she's on the verge of tears all the time and it, it just takes everybody to be like no you're fine you're fine you don't have to uh do this or that it's okay we can help you if you're having problems reaching out to people because you need help or whatever and she's like yo yo no i'm fine and she like ends up crying silently and it's like oh no we gotta help baby girl so uh it it it's time for her to grow with the other girls, I think. And so that's that's my main thing with her. So she she's going to open up in the series if there's a reboot. But it, it will take some time, of course. As all things should in life. Or hopefully shouldn't in life. I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on! Okay. I knew I was going to have Zippo zero problems drawing my girl Pinkie Pie. I love Pinkie Pie. She She's a bright sunshine. Um... Uh, I want her to be more smart than anything, but I didn't give her glasses. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I, I don't know what I would do accessory wise for her. I don't know. But I wanted to give her pink tails, so that's what I did. You could barely tell, but she has them, okay? And um, I thought the blue pop of her like little eyelashes on the bottom was a different contrast to every other pony girl having them on the top. I thought that'd be fun. And uh, she just, she, there was nothing wrong with the color wise, too. Like, I tried to change it up, but like, Every rendition, it's like, she's perfect. She's she's beautiful. Okay, um, yeah. Okay, I'm done drawing the horses uh, that are girls that are cute. I uh, hope you enjoyed. And, um, yeah. Have a lovely awesome always. And take good care. <laughs>